How are we doing? Brett Garamella here, and today I'm gonna to give you my top tips before your first flight with the DJI Mavic Air 2, although this will apply for any DJI drone. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first tip I'm gonna give you is to make sure that your batteries are all charged, everything is charged, as well as your device and also the firmware is updated for everything as well. So the way to check your battery, you can just tap here just once and you'll see a bunch of dots. There should be four different dots or four different little lights that light up. All four of those should be lit up. You know you're at 100%. All right, sun just came out. So you could also check it on your controller just by pressing the power button, just press it once and you see those little dots go on. So we'll show it right here. Press it once, those little dots go on. All right, show you again. See how those dots just go on? All right, to make sure our firmware is updated, we're gonna go into the DJI Fly app or the DJI Go 4 app. And for the DJI Fly app, you click on the upper right-hand corner on those three little dots. And then you're gonna go over to the About section. And then where it says Aircraft Firmware and RC Firmware, you can press Check for Updates. So we press that. Now you have to have a Wi-Fi connection. So since I'm flying with my iPad, I can't check my firmware here because I don't have Wi-Fi connection with this iPad. But if I was flying with my phone or if I was at home, I would check my firmware. So make sure you check your firmware and make sure your batteries are updated when you're at home before you come on site because you'll run into this issue right here. And you can also click in the upper left-hand corner, click right there and go to the main home screen. And then you can look there and it'll tell you if your firmware is updated, if you have Wi-Fi connection. If you don't, like I said, just do this before you come on site to fly. So make sure all your batteries are charged for your controller, for your drone battery, for your device. And as well, make sure your firmware is updated for your controller, for your battery firmware, and for your aircraft, your drone firmware. So for DJI drones, it's all three, the controller, the battery, and the drone, and then as well as your device firmware. So make sure that's all charged and updated. All right, my next tip is to make sure you're in an open area. So right here, I'm in a parking lot. No one's around. There's a small little street over here. But other than that, there's no one really around. I'm also flying early in the morning. So this is just like a bonus tip added onto this is to try to fly early in the morning. I found that's the best time to fly because most people usually don't wake up early and you'll be able to fly without a lot of people around and I like flying without a lot of people because sometimes they can come and ask you questions or cause you anxiety especially if it's your first time flying it might cause a little anxiety if a bunch of people are around and you might be worried that they might ask you something or you might be worried about if something happens with your drone people around so it's good to fly in an area like this where there's no one around and you also have to watch out for obstacles trees telephone wires telephone wires are are a big one so I noticed there are some telephone wires but they're really far away a couple hundred feet away at least probably like five six hundred feet away so I have plenty of space to fly my drone and I can land it and I have a nice flat surface here so I'm good so make sure you fly in open space a park or anywhere around you where it's open space and it'll make your flight experience a lot better all right so I had to relocate because the sun was getting crazy there so that leads to my next tip which is find a shaded area so you want to find an area where you can see your screen now if you can't see your screen and if you're in an area where there's no shade no trees nothing around to be able to see your screen then you're gonna have to get a screen hood or you could build your own with cardboard just put a piece of cardboard over here and kind of tape it around and that'll allow you to see your screens all right so that leads to my next tip which is to use an iPad and a tablet holder having a tablet holder and iPad allows you to have more screen real estate I really like an iPad you can use some other type of tablet if you want and make sure you have a long Longer cable okay so you're gonna have to get a longer cable that way it'll fit all the way into the back of your controller and there's plenty of space to move your tablet around all right so that leads to my next tip always take off the gimbal cover when you turn on your drone you never want to turn on your drone and have your gimbal cover on because when you turn on your drone the drone does an auto calibration so it auto calibrates the gimbal and your gimbal will move around like this. All right, so let me just demonstrate an auto calibration. When you just turn on your drone, you'll see the gimbal auto calibrate. All right, so I'm turning it on. And you see how the gimbal moves all around? If I had my cover on, it would damage that gimbal. The motors would be trying to do the auto calibration, but you, the gimbal cover would be holding them in place. So always make sure you have the gimbal cover off when you turn on your drone. 
And then the opposite is true. When you turn off your drone, turning off my drone, what I then want to do is put on my gimbal cover. So whenever your drone is not in use, you want your gimbal cover on. That way it maintains the integrity of the gimbal. It keeps it in a nice position straight forward and will help your drone last a lot longer. And you won't have to tweak the gimbal when you're flying or send it back to DJI for repairs because it's not perfectly level. So you always want the gimbal cover on when your drone is off. All right, my next tip is to always have a flat surface when you take off. So that's why we have a nice open space, which is nice. And then we want to have our flat surface. We can put our drone on a landing pad. You can buy one of them or you can use anything you have. It could be a piece of cardboard. There's a little hack I have. You could take your backpack and just flip it upside down. And usually on the back, it's usually flat and you can push aside the straps and put your drone on. Then when you take off, you have a nice flat surface and you can also land on that. So having a nice flat surface comes in handy. Like I said, you don't need something crazy, but just make sure that you have a flat surface with no rocks, grass, or other obstacles near your drone when you take off or when you land. All right, so my next tip is to position the drone away from you. So now it's always good to position the drone away from you when you take off because this way you can orient yourself correctly when flying. It's just a lot easier, okay? Because if the drone is facing towards you, then everything's kind of backwards on your controller. So always take off with your drone forward, the gimbal or camera facing away from you. That way when you fly it, you can move it left to right, forward and backward and taking off and it's a lot easier just for your first flight, this is a good thing to do. If you become more experienced, you don't have to do this, but even if you're more experienced, it's just a safety precaution because you don't want the drone to ever come at towards you and hurt you. So it's always good to have the drone facing away from you at takeoff. All right guys, it got a little too crazy out there, too much noise, so I decided to bring it indoors. So my next tip is to go into the app and format your card in the app. Okay, whether you have DJI Fly app or the DJI Go 4 app, it's best if you do it inside the app. All right, so now I'll show you how to do it in the DJI Fly app and the DJI Go 4 app. What you do in the DJI Fly app, you just go up here to the three dots and then you click on camera and then you go down to where it says format. You can click on SD card or internal storage. Start with the SD card and just make sure you don't have anything on it. So you can click on, go back to your main screen, click on that triangle right there. You can see whether you have any photos or video. So I have some old photos, but on this card, I don't have anything. Okay, so you're gonna go up here. You're gonna go back to camera and then internal storage. So you press format and then you can format both of them simultaneously, which is really nice in the DJI Fly app. Check both of these circles right here and then press format and then bam, you're done. Okay, so formatted both cards and you're good. Don't format it on your computer or anywhere else. Do it in the app. Sometimes you can record and shoot for a while and then you bring it back and all your footage is missing or it's not, or your certain files are missing or it didn't record it right or something happened. That's because you didn't format your card in the app. So always format the card in the app before you fly. I suggest you actually do this at home before you get to the location because at the location, that's just one more thing you have to think of. So try to do this well before you're gonna fly. All right, for my next tip, you wanna change the return to home height, but before you do that, you wanna make sure that height is in the system that you understand. So either Imperial, if you're in the United States, if you're outside the United States, usually it's metric. So what you can do is go in the DJI Fly app, click on those three dots, and then you're gonna click on control, and then you're gonna see either metric or Imperial. Since I'm in the United States, I'm gonna click Imperial. If you want metric in meters or kilometers, you can use that. All right, so once you have it in the system you want, what we now have to do is adjust the return to home height. So we go to safety and on our safety, we're gonna go to the top and at the top we can adjust, first let's adjust our max altitude. So legal limits 400 feet. Let's just set it to about 300 feet. So right about there is good. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll just do close enough, 305 feet. Then we'll go to our max distance and our max distance, we'll set that to about a thousand feet away. We don't wanna go much more than a thousand feet. So that's about a thousand feet. And then our return to home height. So 
If it returns to home, we want to have it at a height that goes above the highest obstacle near us. And since where I'm flying, I was flying in that parking lot, there was a lot of tall trees. So I'm going to put it to 300 feet because that's higher than the tallest tree near me. So just make sure the return to home height, the return to home altitude is higher than the highest obstacle around you, whether that's a building, a tree, a lamppost, or anything like that. So now that you have your max altitude, max distance, and auto return to home altitude, you're safe both for your drone coming back and for how high you can fly and how far. Again, this is just for your first flight, so your max altitude and your max distance you can change later. However, your return to home height should be based on the obstacles around you. All right, guys, this was just part one. Part two of this video for more helpful tips before your first flight is in my DJI Drone Pro course. You can access that course by clicking on the link below. And in that course, I teach you everything from setting up your drone to pre-flight to all the settings and different things you'll need for photography and video during flight. And then to the advanced settings and features for really more professional flying and many things that aren't mentioned on YouTube. And it's all condensed into a course that's all killer, no filler. So you don't waste your time searching on YouTube or online for all the answers to your drone questions. Again, you can sign up for that course by clicking on the link below in the description. I also have a free 40 minute video where I show you my seven secrets for flying DJI drones and answer a ton of questions. You can check out that video by clicking on the link right up there. I'm Breck Aramella, the Drone Pilot Pro, and remember, fly like a pro.